my favorite uh, portable gaming device is my uh, PSP Go. Take it with me anywhere I can. Um, the biggest downfall is it's it's a 12 year old system at this point, and uh, even if you uh, spend a lot of money on memory cards, like you can get an 8 gig memory card from Sony still to this day, this M2 type, it's about thirty dollars for eight gigabytes of storage. Now, you know you compare that to like going out and buying like a micro SD card that's used in every camera and you're sitting at, you know, probably $20 for 128 gigs of storage. And that's astronomically more. Unfortunately, you know, with the PSP, it's got a dedicated slot on it. So you have to use proprietary cables. Now for the older PlayStation portables, there was a uh, memory card adapter that would allow you to put it inside the system and then slide in a little micro SD card and get yourself as much storage as you want. I'm uh, not a fan of carrying around a full-size PSP. This one's a, a fair bit smaller so I can actually discreetly tuck it in my uh, work bag or in a pocket, things like that. Now I did find this one vendor on Etsy that uh, took a lot of the knowledge that's floating around out there on the uh, on the internet, and this this gentleman goes by the name of hashtag underscore AAA mod underscore. He's got a hashtag. You know what? You can look him up. I'm pretty happy with the product. And he shipped me one of the exact same adapters that uh, I already had, but it was soldered to a custom board that he produced, because he's got AAA mod on the back, to a small ribbon cable to this tiny little micro... M2 connection on the other end. So what you could actually do is take it, plug it into the PSP, and either you know disassemble it and put it inside the body, and then nest your tiny little 128 gig memory card inside the uh, the PSP. And that's going to allow you to carry a lot more of your games, especially if you have a huge collection. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got 60 games sitting there over on the shelf, and I'm not a person that'll play a game end-to-end. -end, I'll play for 5-10 minutes, and then I'll move on to something else. This is a great little adapter. Now, I looked around on the internet, and I seen probably the same material that he's read in order to produce this, and I thought I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to take apart one of these micro SD card adapter slots and find out how it really works and it's you know it's just a simple circuit board with some pins that make contact on the micro SD card well I wanted to kind of find a clean solution so I ended up going out and buying these loadable micro SD card holders with the pins on it and of course they're spring-loaded too, so they're going to make a lot of clean finish there. What I am intending of doing is taking the two of these, working them together, disassembling the PSP, removing the memory card slot that's in there, and finding a clean way to nest this in so that I can just take the slot on the side of the PSP port, uh, go and use it for micro SD cards. The uh, the gutsy part is going to be disassembling the PSP just because these these are hard to come by these days. Um, and I really don't want to take risks. This one's been with me for a really long time and it's never done me wrong. But uh, you know I've repaired a lot of stuff in the past so I'm I'm not shy. It's just you know do I do I want to take the risk? I uh, I feel like I'm gonna you know, definitely assemble it, definitely t uh, test it out. I may even make use of this proprietary connection that uh, AAA mod has uh, printed himself and use it as kind of a, an intermediary device to make sure that, you know, what I'm assembling here works well. You know, please check back, you know, follow me on social media, scottb.ca, look on Facebook and uh, here on YouTube and, uh, I, uh, I hope to post something successful in the future.